7 Action News reporter Andrea Isom has more with the family tragedy. You cannot see it, but what happened at this home behind me was horrific. And during the holidays, it makes it even worse. I can't imagine what that family's going through. As this gentleman stares at this home, it is clear he is heartbroken, telling me the woman who lost her life inside is his mother-in-law. It was just before 9 a.m. on Tremont Street. Though it looks like little happened here, tragically, it was quite the opposite. Captain Michael Foley shares what unfolded. Heavy heat and smoke and uh, flames right at the door. Occupants in the adjacent uh, unit said that their unit was filling up with smoke. The adults and children quickly made it to safety. First responders approached with haste. Monroe police make the initial approach, but the smoke and flames kept them from going inside. Within seconds, the fire department gains entry. The fire seemed to be contained to the living room. The crews encountered it as they went through the front door. The crews put the fire out fast, but the elderly woman inside the unit had already passed away. What caused this? The experts are trying to put together that piece of the puzzle as the Red Cross showed up with open arms to help because now a family must heal during this holiday season and beyond. In there assisting the family with anything they might need, uh, especially at this time of the year. Investigators are still working this case, but in the meantime, our thoughts and prayers are with family and friends. In Monroe, I'm Andrea Isom, 7 Action News. Such a tragedy, Andrea, thank you.